All right, the compare and contrast that you need to do for this unit, you haven't had to do it the other weeks, but this week I do want you to because I want you to compare the perspectives of two different groups of people during the American Revolution. Now, I am suggesting you choose Native Americans and slaves because you read about it in Native Americans and the Revolution and the Banners of Freedom. That being said, if you feel passionately that you want to compare Native Americans and women, go for it. If you want to compare women and slaves, you've read about a lot of different women in the American Revolution and you might have more to say about them. I'm fine with that. Just delete whichever one or cross it out and write what you want to compare, as long as it's two different groups of people. I would rather you didn't just do patriots and loyalists, sort of the two different sides. Either they agree with the British and the fight for, sorry, either they agree with the British and that the colonies should stay part of Britain or they don't. Like, you could do those. That's just a little more boring. And I want you to think about some of the more marginalized groups, meaning the people that don't get a lot of attention in the same way as sort of the people that normally are talked about uh, when the American Revolution and a lot of history is studied. Okay, so you can do Native Americans and slaves like it says, or you can change one of them to women, or if you would like to compare to other groups of people, that is fine. Just think about their perspectives. How did they experience the war? What opportunities did they have? What, how did they help? Which side did they help? Uh, maybe they helped both sides. Maybe they helped one over the other. Maybe they wrote different things or joined up to fight. Um, or did different things to help the cause, either side's cause, okay? If you're confused, if you need help, let me know. I am here to help and to explain more if you need it. All right, good luck.